Cool, so I did this uh, trailer uh, first of all. It was an extended trailer just to show you a bit of the whole steampunk leading up to cyberpunk kind of vibe. A um, couple people complained about the length and stuff, like two and a half minutes to three minutes is too long for a trailer. Yet, yeah, like most of Hollywood stuff, I'm just copying what they do. Um, straight away, we got like the, was it Tom Cruise, deep fakes and all that stuff kind of explain the history. So when I first saw the trailer, I kind of imagined that it was like the time punk bit where the Time Museum is kind of explaining like everything that's happened. So stuff that happened, steampunk times, and then carrying through there's Jim Carrey. Uh, it's me playing all of them because uh, basically I wanted a, a Christopher Walken impersonator just to do the whole lot, but then he kind of flaked out on me. So we did it all with deep fakes. I've uh, been wearing deep fakes for a while and we just had to use them. And Dr. Lopez, he's a big fan of tech as well. So we kind of employed them, you know, the, the Time Museum scene, which was great. Um, but yeah, some of these early shots, the steampunk UFOs, I wanted the real kind of retro, like Mars Attacks, kind of 50s sort of vibe, even though it's set in the 1800s. Uh, it was like 1870 or something, I think that part was set. And then I'm kind of combining it with this future stuff, which is 2100. Um, even some of those profiles turning and stuff came out pretty good. Um, Dr. Lopez tends to like crop the image and stuff like that, so it's better for Unreal. But sometimes he misses the fact that he's cropped a bit of my head off and all that, which wasn't the original footage. But it's okay, you kind of see a little bit at the top there. You get away with it. Um, but yeah, it's just a little nitpicking things, you know, to make it absolutely perfect. But as uh, our productions go, there's so much to do. So sometimes I just have to let mistakes slide and just kind of work with it. This is one of the first environments we use for cyberpunk. So I think I again paid like 30 quid for that. A um, little joke there is um, the cowboy guy like dotted around the city if you can see me. I think I've reversed some of the shots as well. So my movement is a bit backwards, but you're not supposed to recognize on the white shots. Now we got Sylvester Stallone, who probably came out the best out of all the deep fakes. Um, just something with my face and all that, I don't know, it just matched. Uh, Black Panther guys, that was a long thing going, uh, basically for months I was waiting for different people. And then I gave up in the end, I had to do the main, uh, basically Black Panther speech with my motion capture and stuff like that. Um, this is basically like the final battle, uh, early stuff I shot just because it was so cool. Uh, like this outfit as well, the cyberpunk police, I really love them. Um, that BMX outfit I'm actually using now for Batman, and now I've had my first Batman rental. Um, this is another bit while we're killing time. I just got in and bought like some space environment, so we had the UFOs like flying through, just to show it's not just one big mothership, it's several motherships. And the whole point was that it's basically aliens from all over the galaxy, universes if you will, and they're all joining forces to come wipe out humanity. Uh, the metaphor I can explain in the other trailer, but it's literally like uh, the government imposing all the sanctions and all this stuff on us as well and how we're paying for everything, even though it could lead to our ultimate destruction, really. Um, this is, again, early shot I absolutely love. And again, when I put in the sound effects, it just made it all worthwhile, you know? So that's the thing. So when Dr. Lopez gives me all this stuff, it's all mute sound. There's no sound. So people are always like, oh, yeah, you don't even think about the editing. Well, uh, editing is a huge part. Post-production takes a long time. So VFX took a long time and the whole film took about a year. So you see I dedicated my life to this. Um, this is a finale shot where we got like a whole bunch of aliens. I literally wanted like multiple races and stuff like that. So UFOs, robots, traditional aliens, all sorts. There's Skinny Legs and his girlfriend getting blown up and then Skinny Legs running away from one of the robots. Um, this main setting, this street, we actually used from the very beginning. And then we just like moved around the camera and then like chose little different spots and locations and all that to use. Um, but it all came out really great. Um, this is another bit like early on. This shot I actually did myself, so that's my Spanish friend, and that's just a CG robot I got green screen off YouTube. Um, again, once I added all the sound effect, looked really wicked. These UFOs didn't really come out that great because they're really like pixely and compressed, but I tried to sharpen them and stuff, and that kind of made things like uh, slightly like better or worse, who knows. Um, but it was all leading up to this finale where I'm like left alone in the city. Um, all of humanity's wiped out, it's just me left really. And the UFOs are just going ape shit, man. They're coming after every single last human. They don't care that I'm a tra traveler or not. Um, but yeah, this is how it all came out in the end. Um, that UFO is zipping through there. That was really building the tension there at the end. Uh, so it's one thing I'm getting better at is like really using the edits to basically beef up the, the tension uh, levels. But yeah, there's the UFO zipping off and some of the sound effects he used were just ace. So it really made it worthwhile. So that's basically after the fact. I didn't really have uh, me in the trailer so much because it was all my finale dialogue, like, you know, like, oh, how dare you, I'll curse you, all this stuff. Um, but yeah, the trailer was literally to glorify the aliens, the UFOs, because I've been a big believer for a long time. I was known as alien guy in high school, and I've done my research, you know, I've done my 
uh, conspiracy stuff and all the stuff that's happening like recently that the Pentagon is trying to cover up and then stuff gets leaked and then the people try and debunk it and all that. Um, but yeah, here are the end credits, so a couple extra, Freak and Anthony, they're um, from New Zealand, so uh, some of this stuff actually was provided by him, so I had to give him a little shout out, you know. Um, basically a lot of the ties I got from uh, my other friend Charmaine. Uh, there's my brother in the clothing store, we had loads of troubles with this environment, um, it was just a big pain in the ass, uh, but I just wanted to show everybody like how badass they were, like the Black Panthers here. Uh, the lasers, yeah, again, Dr. Lopez did those, so, you know, some were okay, but, you know, either way, I had to add some of my own stuff, and basically I kind of combined with what he did, and then I added my own little, you know, laser effects and stuff, just because I want a lot more lasers, a lot more kind of Star Wars, Clone Wars kind of vibe, you know, just like later shooting everywhere, and like complete chaos, all right? Um, and then, yeah, uh, 10K gets a shout out because he was a Star Pimp, so I shot that early on, so a lot of the stuff with the other people I shot early on, I originally did the steampunk and uh, cowboy stuff uh, first and then I had a big break and then I had health problems and then cyberpunk kind of dragged on and stuff but it's finally all done now so yeah hope you liked it hope you see the feature check it out